In this video, I'll show you how I made this splatter pump watercolor painting. Welcome to Kiata Studio! Here's watercolor paper and cardstock. I created a stencil using a cardstock. All of my art supplies is listed in the description of this video. Rewriting the watercolors from the palette that I used in my last video. Applying water in the negative space of the painting for the wet and wet technique. Using pink for the negative space in the painting. I like to use the same colors in different art pieces to make it easier for my customers to match my artwork in their home or office. Now using gray for shade. I'm now using the paper clips. Now I'm splattering blue, purple, pink, green, and yellow all over the shoe. I'm holding the paintbrush with my left hand and I'm tapping the paintbrush with my right hand. This is what creates that splatter effect. The splatter effect can be used with multiple mediums. I've used it for watercolor painting and I've also used it for action painting with oil paint. I'm now painting the platform heel black. I actually think that platform heels are quite comfortable. But who else feels that way? Leave a comment. I'm using yellow for the inside of the shoe. Whenever I have a fashion accessory that has a pop of color inside of it, I just feel like it's a special little surprise. I've used less water in this color pink so that it can be more opaque to cover some areas in the painting. I'm now using this water-based needlepoint pen to outline around the shoe. I'm now using this professional grade marker in the color black. I'm using it so I can make sure that the heels have some more shade. I'm now outlining the heel of the shoe with this paint marker in the color white. It's all done now. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please like this video and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel.